Facebook's war against fake news in the UK is long overdue. What is Facebook concerned with? You know, I don't like that guy. I don't like that fucking guy. Zuckerberg, whatever his fucking name is, that runs this thing. Since, since what, why, why is he so fucking involved in fake news? You have a site that's for people to, like, you know, figure out who the fuck they're going to bang that they used to went to high school with. In November, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg said the idea that so-called fake news could influence the U.S. election was, quote, crazy. Do you, can you guys read between the lines here? It's all fucking fake news. It's all spun. This guy, you know what this guy is right now? This guy's like, he's a made guy. And now he has a dog in the fight. So now this fucking dope. Now, I mean, he's not a dope. Obviously, he started this fucking, this little fucking chit-chat site. Um, now he's going to decide what is real and what is fake. So maybe he's saying it was crazy that it couldn't have influenced it. Bill, maybe you should read the whole article before you throw this billionaire under the bus. Okay, fair enough. Sorry, Mark. Uh, six months later, however, the social network has announced an all-out war on misinformation and hoaxes in the UK before the general election in June. Oh, I see. I see. You know what? He, he either got paid off or he got a phone call about a convertible ride in Dallas. That's what. Somebody just called up, you know. He just picks it up, picks up the phone. Hello, Facebook. Right. And then he just had that, you know, that voice they always have, you know, whenever they have like the gang members on TV, like, yo, Fresno, motherfucker, don't have strap. You're going to get captain for that. Right. They had like that voice, except it was like Illuminati hitman calling up, you know. He's like, hey, easy, Mark. Facebook, how may I help you? Mark, if you don't get rid of that fake news on there. We're going to stick an app up your ass. Um, something like that. They scared the shit out of him. You know what? You know how you scare the shit out of a fucking nerd? You just take his phone away. <laughs> you take his phone away, and then you've threatened to burn one of his superhero costumes. And that motherfucker will tell you anything you want. So now he's having this all-out war on fake news. How do, What the fuck does... Why, um, how do you tell what is fake and what isn't? Everybody's lying. Everybody's a fucking liar. How many lies do you think Hillary and Trump told combined in just one debate? You got two piles of shit just saying the other one smells worse, right? Isn't that what it is? Everybody's lying. Oh, fucking thing, you know... I still don't understand, and I, always, I know I always say this, whenever a bill gets passed, why do they always have to, why are they allowed to tag on all these other fucking things? I've never understood. Anyway, six months later, the guy's, he's an all-out war on misinformations and hoaxes in the UK. Oh, yeah, it's because they, they voted to leave the European Union, which probably fucked with the bankers who want to have everybody all unified, all on one currency that they are fucking printing. So inadvertently, people just saying, hey, man, let's get the fuck out of here. Now you got to have an all out war on it. That's what happened. The bankers hitmen called this guy up. Right. All right. Facebook is tweaking its algorithms to try to halt the spread of misinformation, giving users tips on identifying sources designed to misinform. And it even ran full page advertisements in British newspapers on Monday, reiterating how to spot misinformation online. Oh, I want to I want to see. You can see the full advertising advertisement below. Well, let's see what they got here. All right. Tips for spotting false news. One, the person you're talking to is wearing a trench coat with a fedora and sunglasses. All right. Be skeptical of headlines. You know what? They just took a picture of the newspaper, so I can't see this here. Look closely at the URL. Investigate the source. Watch for unusual formatting. Consider the photos. Inspect the dates. Check the evidence. Look at other reports. Is the story a joke? Some stories are intentionally false. I don't know. If you use this algorithm for Facebook, would, would Facebook still exist? I mean, the whole fucking thing is fake. Everybody pic takes a picture. They hold the camera up over their fucking face. So that drops like 40 pounds and ups their number from a four to a six, a six to an eight. Right? 
Everybody photoshops and does all that shit. Wasn't wasn't old Kung Fu Kenny talking about that in his song? I don't fucking know. Why, why do I claim? Some of Wall Street's top boutique firms just landed a big payday. And for some reason, they have a picture of Aziz and Sari. I mean, isn't that misinformation right there? Aziz and Sari is not one of Wall Street's top boutique firms, is he? That's misinformation. He's a stand-up comedian, as far as I know. Um, all right, I think, I think I've fucking filibustered long enough, haven't I? You know, it's funny. When I think of Mark Zuckerberg, I don't think of Mark Zuckerberg. I think of the fucking guy that played him in the movie. And, you know, when I look at Mark Zuckerberg, he looks way more annoying. 